Hi, Hani. Thank you. Welcome to um, to Zero to Pro. Thank you for uploading your homework and your photo shoot. Uh, as a quick word of introduction, please invest yourself. You've uh, you've paid good money now for this course, and um, you've begun with a bang. Excellent. You've done really well. Um, but you stay committed. Please put in the energy that you know it. it deserves and that it's gonna that it requires from you okay each week you're asked to do your homework and your photo shoot so you have to do both of them okay you have to if you want to see the real fruits of this course you have to do both in the crazy wacky weird scenario where you wouldn't have enough time uh, and you have to choose between one do the photo shoot the point is you have to do both but I just want to tell you that really where the energy needs to be invested is in the photo shoot each week. Take whoever it is, whoever, you know, friends, brothers, sisters, family, spouses, I don't know who you are, where you are. Uh, take them out, whoever it is, and just get pictures. Take, go for 45 minutes and uh, enjoy yourself thinking about backgrounds, thinking about posing, thinking about funny things to do, etc., etc. Uh, but that's where, that's really where, where it's at. Okay. That said, let's jump in. So let's just go start from here. Okay, triangle. Um, this is, it's it's not kind of really a triangle. If the, if the lamp was lower, it would be really what's happening here is, one second, is you end up with a kind of like, it's kind of a triangle. I suppose if you said that the table doesn't really work, it would be better if the table was a longer table. Let's say it came out to over here like this. And then we put this jar over here. It's hard to draw with it. And then these flowers over here, something like that. And then we would have ended up with a, a, a really good triangle. Um, okay, try that again. In what I, what I want you to do is I think where you got mistaken here was because of the tri this triangle, which kind of makes you feel there's a triangle. It's, I suppose in a sense there is a triangle, that is a clear triangle. Uh, but in regards to the entire composition being triangular, it didn't quite, didn't quite nail it. Um, but try and do this for next week. Instead of now just making a triangle by putting a lamp in the middle and the two jars and flowers on the side so you end up with a triangle, um, Try and use different size objects. For example, if I use my um, my phone further away and this battery very close up, do you see that? Let's do it this way. It's even better. One second. Do you see now that even with my arm, I've made a really good triangle. It's hard to do because my camera's backwards. So we've got the battery, which is very small, and the phone that is very big, but because we used the battery much closer, the battery appeared to be much bigger, so we ended up with a triangle. Try and do that. Okay, um, let's jump in here. So here's textures. Excellent. Great texture. A lot of energy, a lot of hard lines, and then because you have a shallow depth of field, which you're going to learn about in another couple of weeks, you've ended up with this kind of um, soft texture over here as well. So you've covered all the... Uh, all, you've covered lots of energies here. I think it was Chagall. Um, a famous painter from a hundred, a couple of hundred years ago, to 150 years ago. Um, he said that uh, I can't remember the exact quote, but he said that we, as artists, we are constantly striving to create the beauty of flowers, like to even come close to recreating the beauty of flowers. So um, you see that clearly here, how beautiful flowers can be. Um, excellent, great. Um, this is also a texture, yes. It's bordering on the, on the world of pattern. Like we said, remember in the class, the, the, the line between texture and pattern is sometimes a bit blurry. So I would say more the textures are, are what's going on over here and here and here. And then the actual like macro analysis of the picture, I suppose, like the bigger, the bigger elements of the picture end up looking like a pattern. Okay, that was well seen, good. And here, this is also a pattern texture. I think we'd say pattern first. Remember, we define a pattern as a reoccurring geometric sequence. Okay, something that keeps going, which you have demonstrated here perfectly. Uh, just to note, the diagonal lines in in like uh, classical um, you know, art literature, uh, horizontal lines are considered passive and relaxed. 
vertical lines are considered much more dynamic and alive, like a, a you know, person standing straight as opposed to a person lying down. Um, those are things that we relate to those two lines. Then we have another line, a diagonal line, which they speak about uh, for for lots of uh, lots of discussion about diagonal lines. Uh, but one of the things that diagonal lines for sure does is it does add uh, a dynamic tension. So we have uh, a lot of energy in this pattern. Okay, this is the goal of a photographer: is analyzing a situation and not seeing trees or buildings, but seeing lines and textures and contrasts and patterns, and and tasting. The value of those uh, of those graphical elements. So we don't see trees. We just see we see textures and uh, colors and shapes, etc. Uh, as you get more and more practice in it, you'll start seeing trees again and just intuiting immediately the the uh, the graphical um, value of that object. Okay. So this is exactly the way. Start doing that now. Analyzing thinking, and it's going to help hold you in very very good stead as you go forward. Okay, it's a great example of a pattern, a uh, reoccurring geometric sequence. Very good. Okay, depth and perspective. Great. Going off would have been we could bring it out more if you got lower down to the stairs, lifted the camera upwards. It would create a um, a much wider, more obtuse triangle, which would in this case add energy. Very good. And this is great. This is very well seen. This is exactly uh, these reoccur these um, converging lines. One second. See these converging lines here? They all go to the same place, and that is a very dynamic triangle. Moves us in right, right in. Um, this area, it would have been a little more powerful if you had just moved your camera a little bit to the left side. Um, but excellent, great, well seen, good. Just to, this is a great example of the fact that um, we see uh, these patterns and textures and shapes and uh, exist everywhere. I hear people say sometimes some of my students would would whine or complain. Oh, I couldn't go. I couldn't find anywhere to take pictures, and uh, everywhere is picture some places are more than others but you can really by understanding these rules clearly especially when you start to understand flash which is another one you can start messing with some of the variables um that the that that uh the the idea of finding amazing places in the most unlikely of places happens all the time all the time anyway so you've just pro proven that excellently very good okay uh this is balance so this is um, quite balanced I think we could just balance it a little bit more by taking away some room at the bottom yeah okay so that's great we've got our energies moving inwards okay so we've got our eye keeps moving here whereas this side of the image is heavier which means that we've ended up with an actually balanced image that's great great example very good Okay, now begins your photo shoot. Okay, it's not in order. Let's just have a quick look through of all the pictures. Good beginning. Good beginning. Now, like I say to all my students, is within about two or three weeks, you're not going to want to look at these pictures. Okay, it's going to hurt you to look at these pictures um, because you're going to move forward so fast. I, I see from what you've done so far, this you're going to be very, uh, very successful. Please, God. Um, so let's just have a look now. This is beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful expression. In regards to where he is in the frame, he's very small. Let's, I mean, we have to analyze what's the value, what's the graphical value of this stuff? And the answer is not much. This is really not adding anything to our image whatsoever. What are the directions of our subject, which is this way? Okay, so we need more room on this side than we do on this side. So I'm just going to crop in and look at the difference that this is going to make in the picture immediately okay immediately a huge improvement in the picture I think we'll move over a teen a little bit more it could even be that we could go in a little closer we have this line coming up here as well so we need some more energy we need some more space up here one second okay 
Very good. So just keep that in mind. Moving in, cropping in makes all the difference. All the difference. Okay. Um, this is a nice shot. Stats, how are you shooting? You are shooting... Okay, you're shooting a manual already. That's fine. That's great. Um, it's uh, You missed the focus slightly, I think. The focus was... Oh, it could be you were, it's actually not being held steady. I don't think it's an issue of focus. Even though you're 20, 20th of a second, you've got to learn in class 3 about shutter speed. But it looks like here you were maybe like whipping around or something. I could say, see that because of this background here. Looks like there's also movement. Is there focus anywhere? A little bit, but it looks like you... You, it looks like you've moved a little bit. Uh, it could also be that you need to clean your lens. Anyway, the energy of the picture, forget that it's not sharp. The energy of the picture is good. We've got energy moving this way. We've got a line coming this way. It could be you need a little bit more room over there just so that your eye doesn't bang into the side of the frame. A little bit more room would help. Uh, but great, great shot. Okay. Good. Um, have her put her hand around him or hold his hand. Have some kind of connection between them. This is distracting. Be careful with. Um, cropping in a little closer, I think, would make a big difference. Yep. Again, get rid of this. You could do that very quickly in Lightroom or in Photoshop, really. Uh, we'll see which one we'll take in to, to Lightroom in a second. Okay, good shot. I appreciate the energies. The sensitivity to the uh, balance of the pitch, that's great. Good work. Okay, that's cute. Again, let's analyze the direction. Direction's coming this way. Okay, we're going this way. So now let's give some more room. So the thing is, that little flick is actually moving us back a little bit. We don't want to have that too close to the frame, to the edge of the frame, because uh, that will, even there, it is causing a little bit of tension. That little point is actually becoming a slight sticking point. But I think it's okay. But we've basically, we, we cropped away here, we've given more room here, so we've got our subjects moving inwards. It could even be a nice idea to crop this one a little bit more like that. Okay, good. A lot could be done in Lightroom to this picture. Let's see what else we've got here. Great, good. Cropped in close. This is good. Um, you're going to learn that one of the one of the keys to portrait photography is walking back and zooming in. Okay, the fact that you're in close and you're zoomed out makes it feel like a, a little bit distorted. It would be more um, what's the word more flattering if you were in close uh, if you're in far back and zoomed in. Uh, the light on your subject's face is okay, um, not amazing, but okay. But like I said, you've cropped in close. We've got a good. Um, oh, one second. We have a good strong triangle over here. Sorry about that. Okay, we have, just to show you again, we have a good triangle, good strong composition. That's great. Excellent. Excellent work for your first homework. And you are going to, uh, you're going to be blown away. Please go by what you're going to, uh, what you're going to learn how to do. Okay, let's take... Let's take this picture into Lime. I think we ended up cropping in a little too close, to be honest. We'll take it in like this, and we will see what we can do. This is part of the course, is that at the end of each tutorial, we try and take one image into post-processing and show you like what, what we're thinking, where we're trying to go with this. Okay, so I want to add some... I'm going to turn this black and white for sure. For sure. Now we're just going to go through these cards here a little bit. The the skin tones are generally in the or in the orange. That's good. I want to brighten up his skin there like that, and we can darken the grass a little bit. That's good. Okay, we're going to add some contrast, just like that. Quite a lot of contrast. It was quite a flat picture as it was. Had quite a lot of contrast. I think also quite a bit of clarity. Excellent. Okay, now. We're going to do our crop. Great, and I'm going to lighten his face a little bit. One second, don't worry, we're not leaving it like this. Just 
Truth is, we really want to just brighten the front of his face more. There we go. We've edged over a little bit there. We can go to erase, use auto mask. And that should stop at the edge there, which it does. Good. Okay, I want to also take away a little bit more attention from everything else. Remember, emphasizing our subject, we do it in one of two ways. Either number one, by emphasizing our subject, obviously, or by number two, de emphasizing everything else. So let's do that a little bit. And I'm going to, hmm. I think in this case, we're going to add some. What should we do? Let's have a look. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it. I'm undecided there. And I think after doing the radial tool, we are also going to add in a slight vignette. Okay, so let's have a look where we went from from here to here. Very good. Excellent, excellent work. Um, so keep it like we said. Uh, remember how important the photo shoot is. Uh, keep labeling the name, the numbers, the images properly like you've done. And uh, wishing you the best of luck. Stay committed, determined, and invest yourself, and you will see amazing things come. Okay, all the best.